Yo, yo, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Ran Lodi, aka Ran, and I am back with another video. Now, going on from the video from yesterday, or whenever I made that video, um, y'all seen it? My house was flooded. No clickbait, none of that. Y'all see my house was flooded. I showed y'all proof and everything. I want to give y'all a little quick update of what happened and what's going on. So. As y'all know, when my house got flooded, bro, the, am the, not the ambulance, the fire department came. There was the only people who answered. They came, they fixed it up and everything. They got, they swept the water out of the, uh, out of my apartment. And they showed me how to turn the water off in the storage, not the storage unit, by the furnace where it was leaking. They, they showed me how to pull the lever over in case a flood happens again. And I'm going to tell you guys how it flooded. So... I have two neighbors. I'm in the basement. It's three stories. So one of the people upstairs, my neighbors had moved out, right? And when they moved out, I don't know who did it, the landlord or somebody came here, bro, and they turned the heat off that's next to the furnace and the water and the pipes and stuff like that. So they caused the pipes and everything to freeze up, bro. It's negative zero degrees. And so, you know, without that heat being on, it froze. They claimed that they knocked on everybody's doors and nobody answered. Like, what the hell type of excuse is that? Because nobody answers, you turn off the heat. Like, dude, you know there's other tenants in here. Like, come on now. What is you turning something off for if you know there's other tenants in here? I don't care if nobody answers. Nobody has to answer their doors. So, that happened. My house flooded. I called the um the office where I t drop off my uh, money grams every month to called the call everybody maintenance man nobody answering so i'm gonna say about a day or two days later a guy came by a maintenance guy now this isn't my maintenance guy um i thought it was but this isn't my maintenance guy the guy that came told me that uh the dude who normally comes in and fixes stuff up he's on vacation right now so we called him in to come and fix it so he came he claimed he fixed it and stuff like that he said it was fixed he left right he told me to leave he told me to leave all my foxes on all my foxes on for like as y'all can see, it's working now. The water's working now. But he told me to leave all my faucets on for two to three hours, right? So I did all. So I did exactly that. I left the faucet on. I left the uh, bathroom faucet, the kitchen faucet, and the shower head on, as he told me to. We said leave all of that on for two to four hours, and the water should come on. And I was like, okay, cool. So uh, this is around five p.m. I want to say around 7.30, bro, I was in my room watching Netflix, and all I heard was just water dripping, water dripping, water dripping. I'm like, what the hell is that? I get up. I, I pause the movie. I'm trying to hear. Y'all know as a black person, y'all put y'all here close to things. You turn all the sounds off so you can hear better. So I did all of that, bro. Um, I hear water draw. So I go in the back. Um, it's a door in my back. I showed y'all before. It's a door that leads to the... Um, where the flood is at, I showed y'all. So I go back there, right? And it's literally leaking from the ceiling. I have, a, I'm, I, I recorded it. So I'm going to put the link in here. I'm going to show y'all. All right, as y'all can see, y'all seeing the water was literally leaking, right? The water was leaking. I'm going to probably put it towards the end of this video. Or if I'm going to put it in right there. But the water was literally leaking from the ceiling, bro. So I had to call him back. Didn't work. And I'm going to show y'all what happened. And... He fixed the water, but look how he left my um, bathroom. Look at this, y'all. That looks so damn ugly, bro. Look, this looks ugly, y'all. Like, y'all can't tell me. Y'all can't tell me this is really bad, bro. That looks terrible. But he, I was at work. My mom told me that he said that they's, they're coming back tomorrow to come and fix it up. To come patch that up, they're gonna fix that up. So I'm not really complaining about that. They're gonna come and fix it. So I actually called my building people and I uh, I was on the phone with them. I told them everything that happened. Like it was a flood in my house. Um, it was overly flooded. Someone came, turned our heat off. My water was off for three to four days. My heat hasn't been working all this time. I'm trying to see if I can get some type of money off of my rent for this month, for the month of January, if I can get some type of money off of my rent. I called them, asked them all of that y'all, because I deserve to have at least, I deserve to have some money off my rent for the next month. It can be at least $100 off, $20 off. You gotta be something off, bro, you know what I'm saying? Because that, that was just too much, so I have to at least get some type of money off my rent. My arm is hurting, bro. Oh. Hold up, on my shoulder holding this phone.
But yeah, I feel like I should at least get some type of money off this type of month, bro. Next month, whatever y'all want to call it. But yeah, look at this. Oh, flooded right here. Look at this. Flooded. 